Welcome everyone to the smallmouth bass capital of the world. Damn. Oh my god. Today we have made a two hour drive here to Lake St. Clair. We are not gonna be going after smallmouth. We are going to be musky fishing. Now, I've never musky fished before. Shad has very minimal experience musky fishing, but we thought we'd give it a try and see what we can make of it. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna get this boat in the water, see if we can have ourselves a day. Nice. Fish on. It's a good one. I heard something snap. <laughs> I heard something snap and I thought it was a line. Now, if you never fished Lake St. Clair before, smallmouth, one, are very big. And number two, you use a lot of just tubes, drop shots, and crankbaits to catch these fish. So if you've never musky fished before, this is what we're using right now. You're gonna need at least 50 pound braid or more, a wire leader, and then this right here is a bucktail. Obviously you're gonna need a real big heavy rod, preferably eight foot to nine foot. This here is a soft plastic swim bait. And then after every single cast, you're pretty much gonna wanna do a, a nice big wrap around like that, just to check to see if you have any followers. But other than that, all it takes is lots of time, lots of casting, and hopefully we can get it done. Oh my God, it happened. I got one. No freaking way. Oh. It's coming up too. There it is. See it? Yeah. Holy oh, crap. Wow. It's coming under the boat. Yep. Down the left side. Of me. Actually, I say there. Here it comes. Oh my God! Oh. Did you drag okay? Yeah, it's fine. Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 Yes! This is <laughs> Hey, let's get let's give him taken care of. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Alright. Easy gal. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Try to get her. Back in the let's get back in the neck there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Keep her in the water so we don't stress her out too much. That wasn't that long of a fight, so that was pretty so good. good. You know what that's for, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. spreaders. Big pliers. You wanna unhook all that? We'll get her back in the boat. We gave her a little drink. <sighs> Alright, I'm really trying not to hook myself where those pliers at. Okay. okay, under the gill. I don't know if she. Uh, You'll be able to get her. And she then might still have to. Oh, she's unhooked. Yep. And it's quarter belly. Quarter yeah. belly. Oh. Oh my god. That's my first muskie ever. And jeez, is that a nice one? I mean, how long do you think that is? Forty. We're gonna, yeah. Push, we're we're gonna find 40. out. Whoa. 
Look at that. All right, real quick. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. She was ready to go. Dude. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it happened. I'm like, what? And I look back and you're like, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, watching her jump out of the air was insane. Oh, <laughs> All right, decompress moment. And I haven't even mentioned, oh Jesus. I haven't even mentioned yet that we only been fishing for not even 20 minutes. I mean, we've been casting for probably 15. And it already happened. Now I can see why that could be so addicting because it's probably been five minutes now since we released it and I'm still feeling a little shaky and mostly excited to get back out and try that again. Okay, well, let's not make this a one trick pony. Let's, let's see how many we can boat today. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we got one so far. My bucktail has been crescent with its first musky, first drops of musky blood. I almost couldn't believe that I had it on. I was like, all right, when, when's the log gonna come up that I just hooked? There was no way I just did that. Just had me. <laughs> Try this for a little bit. Oh, he got off! Oh! Hold on. Oh! Oh! oh. Right out here by our mark, too. Oh! Did you, did you get to see him? Yeah. Did he? Was he refigurating? No. He just hit close to the boat. Oh! Wow. Is it beat up at all? No. No slices, that's what I was looking for. You know, a little bit there. That looks All like right. the lure to be then. They come up and smoke it though, don't they? Oh my god. Took one more drift through there, didn't get anything, so we're gonna move spots now and we got a little bit of a intel on the next spot. We're gonna head to it, but it is 17 miles away from where we're fishing right now. So we'll see you in 30 minutes. Well, I spoke too soon and we uh, realized why they call muskie the fish of 10,000 casts. Because the only fish I caught all day was that one muskie. We uh, tried to go to the Canada side and those Canadian muskie were not kind to us. Didn't get any bites over there. And we tried bass fishing just for a little bit, but that didn't go over well either. But this video isn't over here. And even though it is a muskie catch, clean and cook, I'm not going to be eating a muskie, obviously. I'm just gonna do a halibut recipe in the kitchen, so I'll see you there.
making halibut curry. And all I got so far is I got some onions caramelized and I got some rice cooking in the background over there. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all my halibut chunks into this pan and then I'm gonna pour the curry sauce right on top of it and just let it simmer for a little while. I'm using Jofrezi curry, coconut curry. I know I'm not saying that right. And there's no special reason for me cooking this in a wok. I'm only cooking it in a wok because it's a big pan to put stuff in. Also, if you want to see how I caught this halibut, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I also have a whole playlist of me in Alaska catching salmon, rockfish, cod, halibut. Here is some halibut curry. I've never had curry before, but it smells like it's gonna taste very good. And I also have Hannah here with me to try it out. Oh. You want that first? Sure, all right. Mm. Steam. Very hot still. If you had to rate that, how good is that? I think it needs a little bit more seasoning. More seasoning? Yeah. I'm gonna try just the sauce first. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't think it was gonna be sweet like that. Oh, I'm not burning the shit out of I told you it was hot. Alright. Yeah, let's restart that one. Yeah, after torturing my mouth. It's very good. A lot sweeter than I expected it to be, but yeah, I've never had curry before, so I like it. But it's nice to do that with the halibut because the halibut kind of stays together, whereas like other fish might just flake apart. Halibut's pretty firm, so you get nice big chunks of it. Right now. Very good. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. I, uh, we had a blast making it. I definitely foresee musky videos in the future. But other than that, thanks for watching the video. Thank you.